Hi YouTube community, my name is CJ and welcome to Simply Soprano Sax Starters where I teach you how to play the soprano sax and strip it down right to the bone so that it's as easy as A, B, C. The soprano saxophone is regarded as quite a difficult instrument to start with but the truth is this was actually the first saxophone that I played. And out of the saxophone family, it's said that the alto saxophone is one of the easiest and very, very few people actually learn to play the soprano first. However, I love this instrument so much and I didn't actually know what was the harder instrument, what was the easier instrument. This is where sometimes that little bit of ignorance can save you a whole load of worry and anxiety. So I went straight in for what I wanted to play and so can you. So that's what Simply Soprano Saxophone is all about. Simply Soprano Sax Starters is about starting to play the soprano saxophone. Today's skill is going to be focused on moving up chromatically um, on the G scale. So we're going to learn a song within the G scale and it's an easy song. However, um, there's something for everyone. So for those of you who think you're at the intermediary level or you're at the very, very start, there is something in this lesson for everyone. It's very hard to find lessons dedicated solely to the soprano saxophone. And it's really, really hard to find starter lessons um, when it comes to the saxophone, especially free. But I actually really wanted um, at the beginning of my learning journey to find some material that would aid me to play. And it, I just wanted something to help me to begin. What were the skills I needed to start? And most of the skills that were out there were a bit too advanced and I'd hear people play all these things and um, they would actually discourage me because I thought that was far too advanced. But the purpose again of Simply Soprano Sax Starters is to feed you with things that don't sound overwhelming um, but are things that are manageable bite sizes that you can take, run with and actually listen back to and it would boost your confidence. I mean, that's the purpose, that what you play is something that will actually help build your confidence. So the track um, to the song that I played is available, and it will be available on the website, Simply Soprano Sax Starters. There'll be a whole load of short tracks there that actually help you to learn how to play. Rather than learn isolated skills, one of the things I recommend, which helped me to learn really quickly, was to learn songs that embodied the skills I wanted. So some of the skills I learned, I only learned what they were after I'd learned them. And I think that's such a good way to train the brain in order to acquire skill. Because sometimes we overwhelm ourselves with the skill we're about to learn to the point where the brain is discouraged from learning it. These are all tricks about how to learn. And they're things that apply across board to any discipline or any instrument. My approach is to actually teach you a song. Why? Because it raises your enthusiasm, it raises your learning enthusiasm, and it also makes you look forward to wanting to play or the next time that you play, which is key when it comes to developing. You've got to want to come to your instrument, pick it up and play it. And to be able to play something that you enjoy, well, it just incites that sense of anticipation and enthusiasm that bit more. And it helps you to attain consistency again, which is absolutely vital in learning any skill. So let's jump right into the lesson. It's in the key of G. I almost said B there. It's in the key of G, G major, which is these three. One, two, three. Those three notes there. Okay. We'll keep our fingers close to um, the other keys um, that we'll be using. But let's just quickly go through the scale of G. It's a good thing to do to actually go through the scale that you're about to use to play a song. Um, that way it tunes your mind and somehow it forewarns you of keys or notes that will not be welcome within the progression that we'll be using. Okay, 
So here goes the song. And then we'll repeat that. So the notes are G, A, and B. Da, da, da. And then keep your finger on B, which is that one there. And then you go from B to D to E. And then play that again. And then the next time round, 